<coughs> that was hot. Hey guys, it's Friday. Welcome to Why So Aquarius. I am realizing that I probably should have explained this a while ago. You might be wondering what the hell LGBTQIA even means. Understandable, understandable, it's a lot of letters. Um, now this channel is focused around the LGBTQIA community. And um, if you have no idea what that is, how can you understand what anything that I'm talking about? So I wanted to talk today about what LGBTQIA means. Let's break it down. L stands for lesbian. Women that like other women. G means gay. When used in the acronym gay is most commonly referring to men who like other men. Now gay can also be used to describe gay women. It can also be used to describe the gay community. But within the acronym, and most commonly it is used to refer to men who like other men. B. B stands for bisexual. Bisexual means that you like men and women, and also it, there's a possibility of liking people who don't identify on the gender binary. There's so many different forms of bisexuality and, and a whole spectrum that you can identify with if you identify as bisexual. T. T stands for transgendered. Trans is an umbrella term for a huge community of people who identify with the opposite gender they were assigned to at birth. A lot of trans individuals go through transitioning um, and procedures to allow them to actually match their identity that they have on the inside to the outside. And that's wonderful. There is one, one freaking hair that is sticking out like a sore thumb. And I swear, hair, I will find you and I will kill you. Q! Q is a huge umbrella term. It means queer. Queer is a huge umbrella term that could actually replace the acronym LGBTQIA. Uh, queer involves all of the sexual orientation and gender identity expressions. Um, and it's a huge umbrella term that includes, like, j these are just a few, like, uh, like um, agender, bi-gender, bi-romantic, aromantic, um, gender non-binary, pansexual, um, everything. I. I stands for intersex. Intersex means that when you were born, your chromosomes um, and maybe your internal sex organs or your biological makeup wasn't necessarily the same as what a typical male or female is made up as. In other words, you could be born with both sex organs of a, of a male and a female, or you could have the sex organs of a male and have the chromosome count of a female. There, there's many different spectrums that it can go off of. A stands for asexual or ally. Now, asexual is, a, is an orientation in which you don't necessarily feel sexual attraction, um, and you don't necessarily desire sex or sexual partners, and it's not that you don't. Like, you, you, you can absolutely have sex and identify as asexual, because there's many different ways of identifying as asexual, and there's also different variations of it. An ally is just somebody who supports the community, supports anybody who identifies um, as a non-conforming gender identity or sexual orientation and stands with those people when in rough times and is just a supportive person. Allies can be straight, gay, bisexual, lesbian, trans, black, white, does not matter. Allies are everywhere and allies are welcome. So if you support the LGBTQIA queer community, you're an ally. The whole thing is an acronym that kind of describes the non-conforming sexual orientation and gender identity community. So the acronym means lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, holy crap, gotta do that again. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, intersex, question, no, 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 no. The acronym means lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, intersex, asexual, or ally. Now. Let's talk a little bit about this acronym. With all of these different labels, you may think, oh my god, Mitch, how the hell am I gonna fit into one of these? You don't have to. It's not a fixed system, and it, it, there, there really is no system. It's just an acronym that is used to describe a group of people that relates to each other because of experiences that we've had. When it comes down to the end of the day, 
You are who you are, you like who you like, and anybody who judges you on that or questions you about that is not on the right track themselves, and also just none of their business. These labels are not a fixed thing that you have to be a part of. A lot of people just identify with queer, which is the umbrella term for every one of those different labels, identities, expressions, everything. Um, and it's a great way because like, I think we're all a little queer. We're all a little strange and that's awesome. But do not feel like you have to conform or fit in or stick to one of these labels. You can be whatever the hell you want and you can love it. You should love it because it's you. Um, yeah, so I hope this video was a little helpful. If you have an opinion about the acronym, how it's used, what it means, if you have an idea of something else we should use, or if you just want to say something about it, put a comment in the boxes below. If you like this video and you want to see more things from me, click the like button, please. And also, do not forget to subscribe to Why So Queerious if you want to see my beautiful face every Friday. And I will see you guys next week. Love you! Bam! Mm -mm -mm. Bye.